Q&A today. Okay, now, then we can further use it to do the adder, right? Analog computing. Let's try to solve this. This one is easy, much easier than the, the other one. We don't need to go to the frequency domain. So again, if I say A is infinity, A zero is infinity, which equation should I use? Virtual ground, right? V minus equal to V plus. You also check a little bit yourself if that makes sense. Yeah, I do have a negative feedback, although you need to prove it, but then you are more confident. But this is equal to zero because the plus terminal is grounded. So it's also virtual, I mean, virtual ground, not just virtual short, right? So with that, I'm going to use KCL. I have a current here. which I call I R2. Uh, I should put it as a subscript. Right. I have current here, which is I R1. And I also have a current here, which is I F. Okay. And I claim that I R F equals to I R1 plus I R2. Do you agree? But if you look at KCL, I also have a current here, right? Isn't that? Yeah, because it's ideal out there, right? So even you do that, you don't forget about this because in reality, not for this class, when you are designing a circuit at your company, you may sometimes find out, hey, this doesn't match. And then you kind of lost, eh, did I? Uh, was Professor Wong lying to me at that time, right? But then you realize, no, we assume it is ideal of M. Maybe the of M you pick has quite some leakage current and you're using very low current on this re regime, right? This is only true if, again, we talk about what is the meaning of infinity and zero, right? When we say there's zero current, it's impossible to have zero current in this world. In principle, even between you and me, there might be one electron transferring from me to you or you to me every one trillion year, right? That is non-zero, right? So if I'm doing some, maybe really you try to push the limit, I want to save the power because my VP yesterday say we need to go to one nanowatt, otherwise we will lose this bet. And you try to increase your R so large. And now this input impedance is no longer infinity in your new case, right? So you will get it wrong, right? So good, right? So that is the assumption again. This is I equal to zero, okay? So what is RF? Ohm's law, what is that? Zero minus V out divided by RF, right? Again, follow the direction because we're talking about current from right to left. For Ohm's law, I need to do right voltage minus Sorry, <laughs> current from left to right. Left, this is left, right, to right. right. So it should be left voltage minus right voltage. Okay, don't swap that. You will say, I don't like that, I want to go in, fine. Then you have right minus left, but your KCL will change. This will become negative, right? Because now you have all going into it, okay? So similarly, what is the current through R2? It is V2 minus zero divided by R, oh, this, R2, okay. Plus V1 minus zero divided by R1, right? So it's very clear. V out equals to negative RF times V1 divided by R1 plus V2 divided by R2, okay? Now, this is very useful. You adjust the R1, R2. What you're doing is not just a simple addition. It's a superposition. I mean, linear AX times BY, right? A very general addition. If you make R1 equal to R2, and I call it R, 
then I can take this out. It becomes V1 plus V2. Scale by a factor. You can make them the same if you want. Right? So this is an adder. Right? Although it's flipped aside, but that doesn't matter because you can flip it back if you're doing DC. Or if you're doing AC, it even doesn't uh, matter, right? Because it's just the phase. That's how you make the adder. Okay? Now, I let you try one minute also. Now we have this circuit. Assume you don't know this is something called transistor, right? And I gave you the equation already. I also will tell you that this is the so-called gate. This is so-called drain. This is the so-called source. The current passing through this bed blocks equals to this. Okay? The current going from drain to source equals to VGS minus VT squared. Okay? Think about how you will find out the relationship between V in and V out. And the result is that this guy is going to do a square root for you. Okay. Try that. I, again, we start to ask ourselves what OPM equation to use. A0 is infinity in this case. And then you try to put in KCL, KVL. At least you eliminate all the variable and then you can uh, try to solve for it. And this is the answer. And feel free to discuss, right, work together. The goal is that you learn something in this process. The thinking process is very important. Right, k is at zero, yes. Ideal, yeah, ideal transistor. Everything ideal you can kind of, yeah. I mean, just think about, assume that you don't know this device. You don't know this is called MOSFET. You only have this equation. This is a black box. You just plug in this equation. And the most important is to start with, uh, some of you like challenge, you can continue, right? Maybe I can start talking about this. First is, after all, is not to be scared. Right? If you see something really messy, you might be scared and psychologically you break down, you give up. First of all is everything will be reasonable in this class. And the same when you go to work, everything will be reasonable. Then you step back, just go through the procedure. First, having an op M, it just gives me an extra equation. Having this M1, which I don't know what it is, I just need also one more equation, but it's given. Then why do I care what it is? Don't be really scared, right? So start with op M. The equation I'm going to use is A minus, I mean, V minus equal to V plus equals to zero equal to Vx, right? Because gain is infinity. So I'm done, I used the equation already. Then I know that I definitely need to use this first. But however, now I should use KCL and KVL. Compare this to what we just learned. It's just that I have this ugly thing here, right? If I had the resistor, I already know the result. But however, I cannot just plug in that uh, inverting amplifier equation because they don't have the same netness or same circuit, right? 
So I will go back to the fundamental, which is the KCL. I know that I R1 needs to be equal to I M1, and that's it. The, anything, any current comes in needs to go here, because again, we assume I do of M, no current going to here, right? And then the rest is just Ohm's law. What is I R1? We in over R1, right? We did not say, say zero because we x is zero, we in over R1. And what is I M1? Looks very difficult, but it is very easy. Yes, because it's given already, you just IDS. All you need to do, just plug in the... Right, let me be clear here, equal to IDS. So this is W on L, mu C ox divided by two, V G S minus V T squared. So you have everything already, except that now you to change the variable correctly. What is V G? Okay, yeah, I should actually ask this first. What is VGS? This, we need to be very, yeah, 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 very careful. It's VG minus VS. Remember this. Uh, this is just a notation. You need to follow this notation. Whenever we say VAB, it means VA minus VB. Don't mess up. And then you do substitution. VG is what? VS is what? V out. That's it. So this is equal to negative V out. Then I have this V in divided by R1 equals to W on L mu C ox divided by 2. And now I have negative V out minus Vt square. Okay. You are done already, basically, right? The rest is some mathematical trick. First, I will start, right, V in equal to W on L, mu C of divided by 2 times R1. I just multiply R1 there. Now, I have 2 minus, so I can write it as V out plus Vt. This is okay, because negative 1 square is 1, right? The problem is now I need to take the square root. I get V out plus Vt equals to plus minus square root of V in divided by the whole thing. Divided by mu. D ox divided by 2R1. Do you see this? I just put this whole thing under V in, this whole thing under V in, and I take the square root. But do not forget you have plus minus. Okay? Now, compare this to this. I just need to move Vt to the right. Then I get this equation, right? The only thing is that I threw away the plus solution. You only can have one solution, either minus or either plus. Why? I will let you prove yourself. It is that the plus maybe. Right. The plus solution will turn off M1. You can just substitute, but one way to think about this, V out needs to be at a lower potential than Vg, right? So the transistor is on. So if they are all negative, I'm sure that it is, it works because it's more than the VTH, right? So this is the physics, right? You are not expected to understand at this moment, okay? So just take it for granted, we will throw away the plus solution. So we only keep the minus solution, okay? Okay, so that's it for today. <laughs>